the Dragoons are attacking each other. The Reaver is in range, but there are two Reavers now for Chow range, and I think Bako might have to back off. Bako may have to back off. There are less Dragoons, maybe, for Chow range, though. There are a lot less Dragoons, but there are two Reavers, and those Dragoons are badly positioned because of that narrow choke. The Dragoons will clump, and the Reavers will do a lot of damage. Chow range also has a shield battery. This is kind of actually a common strategy for Protoss v Protoss matches on Medusa. I've seen it used quite a lot in a game between Bisu and Stork and Bisu and Pure. But now, Backhoe has a really nice contain, I think, on Chow Range. But Chow Range has three Reavers and should be able to move out soon. Both players have gone for that expansion. It will probably turn into a longer game now. But I believe Challenge's Nexus was up a little longer. He will be able to get slightly more of a Dragoon count than Backhoe. And we'll see how this turns out. Challenge did lose quite a few Dragoons in that last battle. He only has five Dragoons on the ground, although he has three Reavers. <laughs> and meanwhile, these observers are following each other, and that Dragoon will take out the observer. Bako is coming in with another shuttle. He lost his shuttle in the last um, last encounter, I suppose. And Bako is probably going to try to go for a, drone, uh, a probe snipe, but those Dragoons are in place. I don't know how effective this will be. There is a pylon being built, possibly just to block scarabs. That positioning, building positioning is so important. Bako does back off. He does retreat with that shuttle. He knows that he probably can't really do anything from that position. Challenge is quite prepared, and Bako is retreating with his entire army now. He chose not to continue with the contain, possibly because maybe he's expecting some sort of counter and would like a better position on the map, but he doesn't want to give up the middle of the map. He doesn't want to be forced back to his choke because then he wouldn't be able to expand later on. And Challenge's shuttle just... I believe Challenge did want to go forward with the Reaver, but he is retreating again. Both players are quite hesitant and careful. Bako though, is that Bako or Challenge's shuttle? One, It is Bako's shuttle with speed, but that pylon of Challenge's does sense, does detect that Reaver, and that shuttle might go down. There are three Dragoons waiting, lying in wait. That Reaver will not do much, but Dragoons are backing off, and that shuttle might be able to come in. Both players have speed shuttles, actually, and these three Dragoons need to dance, need to snipe off that shuttle. That Challenge's, sh Challenge's shuttle gets sniped down while wow, these coaches are looking quite <laughs> worried for their players. I think both shuttles may have gone down, both Reavers may have gone down. That might have been an even exchange. Both players are seeming to go into late game tech, late game Protoss v Protoss tech. They are going for the Citadels. They will probably get Zealot leg speed and macro up, continue to get more gateways, possibly expand. Both players will probably be hesitant to expand because just putting 400 minerals down into something other than Dragoons, other than Zealots, may be dangerous. Meanwhile, both players are quite careful about sniping off observers. And at this point, there's not much to say, I think. Both players are going for that speed shuttle. They're trying to do Reaver harass. They're kind of sitting their bases with their Dragoons other that, than that one encounter. And both, I guess, are just hoping to do some economic harass and push forward with a uh, higher military advantage after that economic harass has been done. But neither player has been successful. Both players have been quite good about catching those shuttles mid-air. Challenge is going for that Nexus. He does feel safe enough to build a Nexus in his mineral only. And we see the same from Bako. Both players are expanding with each other. They're kind of playing follow the leader. Not much is happening, to be honest. But Bako is pushing out, I think, with his Dragoon army. Now, Challenge is not exactly positioned correctly. He's not positioned in front of his base. And Dark Templars are out. Dark Templars and 
a high Templar. Both players are playing quite interesting, uh, interesting styles. They seem to be going, they seem to be going more for harass and keeping their main armies mostly for determent, mostly so that the other player can't overrun them with ground forces. But the only actual action that's going on is with these shuttles, with these speed upgraded shuttles. And it's interesting that both players are going for this. Maybe it's because they don't feel confident enough in their general micro and macro. Uh, and here are the Dark Templars that are in the base. There is no detection in Chao Ranger's base, but there are Reavers, and I wonder if he's going to try to... S is there a detection? There isn't an observer coming for Chao Ranger, and those Dark Templar go down. Chao Ranger does look a little... a little bit flustered after that attack, and here comes another another drop, but that cannon comes up and challenge does have reavers in store and the cannon comes up also for this expansion and Bako needs to run away with this shuttle. He will, he will just barely get away. He has probably 4 HP on that shuttle right now. That was really close for Bako and good for him. He was quick enough. That speed is so critical just because, well, these players are depending. They are basing their whole playing strategy on these shuttles it seems until they're they feel ready to move out and now challenge is moving out he does have a very zealot heavy army meanwhile backhoe has a lot of zealots and dragoons as well but also templar many templar he seems to be looking for archons archons will do well against the zealot army they will do splash against those zealots archons are quite effective he probably does see that this is the unit composition that Chao Range has using his observers, using his intelligence. And it seems that both players are getting ready to just engage, but I don't think Bako has a shuttle yet. Those Reavers are forced to just crawl around because he does not have his shuttle. His shuttle is sitting useless at the bottom left of the map. And those Archons are kind of in the back. They are misplaced. Bako's Archons are not able to get to the front that easily. Both Archons are going against each other actually and those dragoons are falling for Bako. Bako has no dragoons left from what we can see. Challenge is pushing in. He's forcing Bako into this weird position where all his dragoons are clumped up and those dra those reavers will do so much damage against those dragoons and Bako is backing up. He cannot really hold against this attack I think. He ho only has a couple dragoons left. Those Archons are forcing those Dragoons to dance back. Reinforcements are coming for Bako. I think he just did not have that shuttle in store. His Reavers did not do as much damage as they could have because he had no shuttle. And now this battle is not looking that close. Challenge is looking quite good. My video is actually messing up right now and it's very difficult to tell what's happening. Sorry about this. I don't know if this is the same for you. I believe what happened was that Bako GG'd. Bako GG challenge is looking quite ecstatic right now, pumping his fists. Sorry about the video quality. I think my video just messed up and because probably Bako left game and something happened. I'll have to check back on that. Sorry about this. Anyway, challenge did a good job. Well, both players were kind of <laughs> lackluster in play, I think. They really didn't do anything very active, mainly they just depended on their shuttles. I don't think either player really did that well with shuttles. The key factor was that Bako completely failed with his last shuttle and had his shuttle just sequestered off into this random corner of the map where he couldn't use it in his engagement with Chao Ranch at his own base. He couldn't micro his reavers into that shuttle, out of that shuttle, and because of that, he probably lost that battle. Anyway, thanks for listening. I will be going to game three. It is a Terran v Terran, so it might be quite long. Anyway, thanks for listening. Please give me more feedback, and happy holidays.